Now let's talk about what direction will do for you in a projected area analysis in OpenVSP. Now rather than setting either an X, Y, or Z direction for this analysis, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to play around with setting a vector and choosing a geometry. Now you'll notice if we go to a bit of a side view here that I've given our rotor some forward tilt, just about five degrees. And what we're going to do is look at what happens when we choose a geometry as our direction. Now, if you look, we can come down here and choose geometry. And in this case, we're going to pick the rotor direction or the normal direction of this rotor as our direction to project this analysis. And so in the boundary, we're choosing the fuselage and the wing. We could choose the fuselage and the wing and the tail, but because this is bounded in here, it's not really going to matter much. Um, and our target here is the rotor disc. Again, we've changed the rotor to disc mode so that we get the, the whole effect. Now let's come down and start our analysis. And so you'll notice here that rather than projecting straight down or in any X, Y, or Z direction, what we've got is the projection of the rotor onto the fuselage and the wing in the direction of the rotor disc itself. And so if you're performing this analysis and you've got tilt to a rotor or you've got tilt to another component and you want to know what it is directly normal or underneath or, or above one of these, that is how you can set the direction according to a component in OpenVSP. Now you might think, well, this thing isn't just sitting here and blowing in this direction. Say we're in a configuration where we are in forward flight. And so the wake of this rotor is actually trailing backwards somewhat. What do we do then? That's also relatively simple. We can come in and choose to set a vector. Now, notice that whenever I told it the geometry of the rotor, it set the vector to compute that based on the normal of this disk. And so it's got a unit normal vector, X, Y, and Z. And let's multiply this by say 50%. So we're going to multiply it by 1.5, bump that up some, and let's run this again. And so now, rather than just being in the rotor direction itself, this is actually in a direction that's got some more X component and plenty of Z. And so we could even turn this up even more and do something like, mm, say, 0.5 and then run this again. And so now we start to get more and more the effects of the rotor washing backwards here. And so you can set your own custom directions in a vector and still perform the projected area analysis and find the projected area of a rotor, a propeller, another component onto either an arbitrary surface, an arbitrary direction, or individual components and sets in OpenBSP. So hopefully with these videos, you've been able to understand how projected area works in OpenVSP, things like targets, boundary, direction, and how to perform the analysis. And with those videos, I think that you'll be able to have all of this well in hand.